Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and welcome to another FPV flight tutorial video. In this video, you know, it's really not even a tutorial necessarily, but what I want to bring up is the concept of momentum, using the quads momentum for better or for worse and the effect that it has on flying. So this is kind of more of just like a something to think about when you're learning to fly a an FPV uh, quadcopter. So um, when I talk about momentum, I guess in if, if you're used to flying airplanes in airplanes term, this would be airplane terms, this would be called energy management. But uh, basically like the simplest, the simplest type of sort of momentum use for a quadcopter would be like hang time, you know, so you, you, you give a, you give yourself a lot of throttle, you punch that throttle, you come up here, and then you've got a bunch of floaty time. And of course, how much your quadcopter sort of floats, uh, meaning kind of how much it just sort of hangs out in the air um, and how slowly it descends is going to depend on a lot of things like how much throttle you have, how heavy your quadcopter is, what kind of propellers you're using. And I find that in the simulator, it tends to be a bit more floaty than in real life. In any case, um, I would say probably one of the most fun things to use your quads momentum for is, is when you sort of go inverted over a building so for example here we're going to punch out we're going to kill the throttle and then kind of float over the building and maybe that wasn't the best example let's try that again so we're going to come up to the building give it some throttle go inverted and then just kind of hang out there um, and then of course kind of you know uh, level out before you uh, slam into the ground and i think that is a really cool use of the momentum um, it's also, it can also be used like how we were talking about, uh, with split S's. If we go over to our split S trees over here. So kind of that momentum of like going, uh, going inverted into the trick before you even, uh, get over the object that you're going to be going over. So like that kind of, you know, kind of like that, that was kind of messy, but it, it looks really cool. And so this way it's, um, it allows you to maintain a forward motion without actually um, having uh, without actually having forward thrust, basically. So it's a really cool thing. Uh, just something I want you to be aware of when you're learning how to fly, because it will it will come in handy uh, in other tricks that we're going to learn in this series. Uh, one more thing I should mention is the the sort of bad effect of momentum which is kind of like when we were talking about doing sharp turns you know if you're going uh fast in one direction it's going to take a lot more effort to not go in that direction so you're going to need a lot more throttle in order to turn around really quickly or like in, or like with our split s in order to um to do a tighter split s you're going to have to give, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to have to give it more throttle in order to um, kind of bring yourself back to the uh, to the object or to the uh, center point, I guess, kind of well, in this case, literally back to the gap that we're going to fly through. So we come over, we have momentum, but then we really got to give a lot of throttle in order to sort of propel us back towards our intended target so that's something to keep in mind is like it's great to have momentum when you want to use it for a uh, trick but it could be a problem if you are actually trying to ha do fast movements so again the uh in that case when you're trying to do fast movements foot <laughs> i can't speak anymore in the case when you're trying to do fast movements with your quadcopter having a lighter quadcopter will be better but if you're trying to do a trick where you come up to an object and you fling yourself over the object, having a heavier quad that allows you to maintain forward motion without forward thrust is going to be more beneficial. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. Just something I want to mention. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me in this flight series. If you enjoyed this video, check out my whole playlist on flight tutorials. And uh, I think you might like them. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I will see you again very soon.